what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask um, for everyone to think back. And when I say back, it might be way far back or it might be yesterday. Um, to think through of what it was that one moment that may have in inspired you to do what you do today. Um, perhaps it was something that really grabbed your attention for science um, or anything else around being curious about, but learning more. Um, so I'm going to dive, dive into, and I'm just going to start grabbing people out of order because then that kind of, we're like, okay, we'll see who comes next. And I'm going to say Seema. So Seema, could you share with us your story? Yeah, so I think the first thing that really inspired me was, I am going to go way back uh, from school. Um, there was a, uh, I'm from Stoke-on-Trent, and there was a competition in school uh, with Michelin tyres, and uh, they were holding the competition for the sort of whole of Staffordshire, and I decided to enter it because I wanted to win a prize more than anything else. So it wasn't because of my love of doing work for competitions. And it was a maths competition and it was all about how um, it connected to nature. So because it was related to tyres, there was a lot about speed and vehicles and linking all those things together and how you calculate the speed and friction. And for me, that was really interesting as I was putting that together. Um, and then there was a linkage to nature as well and, um, and flowers and uh, how all of those numbers are related to pi. And it, I just found Found that very interesting and it just made me really grab my attention for for uh, maths as a subject that's basically involved in everything you do you can't have anything without it and so I just found that really fascinating um, and then after that I really at university I did maths and it you know it, my love of it carried on but particularly in the robotics area which is obviously getting bigger now but at university it was still a fairly new field um, um, it's just an amazing field and I think that's just going to take off in the future. 